Hey there everyone and welcome to Complete Bootstrap 4 Training. Now let's go ahead and walk you through again with the same uh, file that we are working in here. Now uh, last time we just walk you through, let me just uh, make it a full screen in here. Uh, let's maximize that. So this is what we got in the last video. Uh, but what we want to do now is use CDN. By the way, CDN is the recommended way of going through with the things, okay? So what we're gonna do is, let's just for the time being, let's comment out this link style.css and obviously it's gonna affect our documentation and this doesn't look so good now. And the script file, we'll leave it for a moment and we'll discuss uh, what is this CDN, okay? CDN is actually a content delivery network and the great advantage of CDN is uh, if somebody has visited a website which are using the same CDNs, then it just gets stores in the browser cache and your website is gonna reload or load very fast uh, because the person al is already having all those CDNs like jQuery, Tether and the bootstrap file already in his cache and your website is, uh, is not gonna require to download all these things again, okay? So let's just go through with the CDNs, so it says bootstrap CDN, and by the way, this is the recommended way, okay? So although it says, yeah, you can just link your style sheets in here, so I'm gonna copy it again. Uh, we did that uh, last time as well, but this time we're gonna do it again. Uh, I'm gonna delete integrity and everything, we don't need it. I'm gonna delete that, and I'm gonna also remove uh, the script tag. Script tag needs to go at the end of the body. So this is the browser CSS that it has given us, basically, it's this exact same CSS file, the minified one, and is, is, is being stored onto somebody else server that we can use, and that's what the CDN is, okay? Now, in the last video, I skipped a step, or even I didn't went to the step of uh, downloading the jQuery and Tether because I think that's not what we want to do in here. We want efficient programming in here. So this is what we have. So our style sheet is done. If I save that and reload that, this is this is again looking good. So CDN works just exactly the same. Now let's see why this guy is not working. Okay. So if I go in here, uh, there is no doc. Uh, basically, I read that in the documentation. Of course, everybody does that. Is what we need now is we need Tether and uh, we need uh, jQuery as well. So let me just go into the introduction. And uh, I think there is a starter template in here. Notice, there we go. And notice it just says that you need Tether. This is the Tether and you need a jQuery as well. So we can just copy these couple of lines and can work with that. And notice it says jQuery first and Tether then and then Bootstrap JS. Now, in case you don't like uh, the CDN JS or the code.jQuery CS, uh, you can always search for something like jQuery CDN and obviously it's gonna give you uh, jQuery CDN using cdnjs.com as well. So no big deal, you can just grab it. Now the best part about this, whatever the jQuery version you are using, uh, by the way, you can use the slim jQuery version as well, which is much more smaller than the jQuery itself. A lot of people complain that the jQuery is quite overkill uh, for the bootstrap. So what you can do is click on this drop down and you can copy the, scr the script tags. There we go. The script tags in here and I can just paste them here. Okay, so the jQuery part is done. You can do it in here as well. Let's go back in here. Going back to the bootstrap documentation. Again, I'm into the getting started introduction. And the next thing that we have to copy is this tether as well. Now, obviously you can just find out the tether CSS as well and notice uh, anything about 1.4 is gonna work. So no big deal there. Okay, let's just look for uh, the tether CDN. And uh, we won't be looking for any, the tether of the CDNs or we won't be going into the jQuery or anything else. Uh, I think the tether CDN is not available in here. It's, it's in here. Okay, so there we go. We have a lot of Tether CDNs in here. So we can just go with that. I would like to go with the, this guy as well. So I'll just click in here and I'll click in here, copy that. So first there should be jQuery and thereafter there should be this Tether guy. Okay, make sure you follow that order because this is important order there. First comes in the jQuery then we have got Tether and then the Bootstrap JS. Now this is a perfect template that all the time we are gonna need, okay? We will always be starting our code in here inside the body, but this is uh, the one common template that we are gonna require, okay? And I expect everybody to save this file because we are not gonna be creating this file, and again, 
let's clean it up a little bit because we don't need CSS and anything. Uh, we don't need actually the CSS files and anything. We just need this one index.html file in here. Okay. So this is one good thing. And we are going to now follow up in the later on videos. We are always going to go get started. So as of now, at this point of video, I want to show you uh, that this is all the setup we are always going to need. Whenever I say use the boilerplate HTML4 code, you're going to use this particular code. By the way, you will also get a link in the, in the resource section of this video uh, about GitHub uh, where, from where you can just clone uh, this boilerplate code. Okay. So now let's move ahead into the next section and talk a little bit more about what advantages really the Bootstrap 4 gives to you.